figuring out at home how much you potentially can qualify for to buy a house is actually really simple. Let me break it down to you. We qualify based on something called a debt to income ratio. What that means is how much your monthly debts are. And these are items, for example, like car loans, student loan payments, minimum payments on credit cards. These are not things like utility bills, your cell phone bill, your current rent, your water bill. So what we do is we take your current income and that income me is your pre-tax income. So let's say I want to decide I want to buy a $500,000 house. Can I qualify? Let's walk through it. Something you can do as an easy calculation at home. A $500,000 house, somebody putting 5% down, your total payment with principal and interest and taxes and insurance is about $2,800 a month. So how do I know if I can qualify for a $2,800 a month payment? Let's start with our income. Our pre-tax income, let's say, is a total of $9,000 between my wife and I. So we got $9,000. Not what I get put in my bank account if the taxes are taken out, my pre-tax income. So I start with $9,000. What are my debts? My next debt is gonna be that $2,800 a month mortgage payment, right? And my next debt, let's say I have is a $200 a month student loan bill. Then I have a $500 a month car payment and my wife has a $500 a month car payment, giving me my total debts of $4,000 a month, right? Now, I take that $4,000 a month. Now, what percentage of $4,000 makes up out of that of nine grand? Take $4,000 divided by $9,000. And what is that number? That number has to be less than 50%. So, what's 50%? of $9,000, well, that's $4,500. So in this case, all those debts are only four grand. Four grand is less than the maximum debt to income ratio allowed of 4,500. So in this case, from the very basics of it, I should have no problem qualifying for a $500,000 house putting 5% down.